Gravedigger Blues, and uh, I wrote this song. There was a time when I drove home, I, I had a gig in Philadelphia. It was the final gig of a tour, and, uh, and uh, I drove home straight from Philadelphia, but I was stopped somewhere on the North Dakota Manitoba border. And it was four in the morning and I couldn't get back into Canada. So I uh, guess I did what any um, artist would do. I found the cemetery in this border town and uh, I parked my van for the night and wrote this song called Gravedigger Blues. <laughs> Fort Saskatchewan, um, uh, but we kind of grew up on an acreage outside of the fort in Sturgeon County, sort of between uh, Gibbons and Fort Saskatchewan. And uh, yeah, I went to school in the fort, and uh, 
got into music really early. I actually started, I would uh, write short stories and songs before I ever played guitar or knew how to sing or anything like that. So it was always uh, something that I was curious about. And, and I started performing around the age of 16 or so. It was kind of my first uh, first time performing in front of people. And, uh, and I've just been hooked ever since. Uh, yeah, I'll do this song. It's called uh, Half a Tear, Half a Grin. And uh, sort of wrote it about... Uh, I just got home from a, a tour and there was... There's always that feeling of you don't want to wake up in the morning and get in the car and leave. You always want to stay one more day. And uh, when I'm home in Edmonton, I, I've been playing, busking at the Edmonton International Airport. And uh, it's the opposite of touring. Everybody's leaving except for you. But uh, um, it it's, uh, offers a lot of time and space to just... Uh, write music and so this song was sort of born out of that it's called half a tear half a grin and uh, I guess it describes that bittersweet feeling of knowing you gotta you gotta take off <laughs> Growing up, like we, I mean, my parents played bridge with, with their friends and my aunts and uncles and always had music. Just like I could hear it just coming through the floorboard and uh, lots of good music. I was introduced to, um, I mean, some of my favorite artists today I was introduced to at a really young age. And uh, um, my dad, growing up, played guitar and would sing. And two of my sisters were um, 
pretty involved in piano, in piano lessons. And uh, my youngest sister, Nataya, was always, um, ever since I remember, she was uh, the singer of the family. She, you know, she would, she'd get up and uh, sing around the fire and just blow people away. And, uh, and then my sister, Jenny, um, is quite an accomplished piano player, also has her own music career going full time. She lives out in Toronto. And we have another sister named Maggie, who's the middle sister, and she sings, but I've only, you know, you gotta be, it's very rare for her to sing, um, but she's, she's a killer singer. And uh, so there was always music going on around the house, like constantly. Maybe I'll do a poem, a short poem or something. Would that work? Please. Okay. Wow. <laughs> if I can remember it. This is a song, but I, sometimes I recite the lyrics as a poem. Um, let me just get the... It's called... Uh, Another Dead Poet. <clears throat> Would you meet me in the graveyard after dark? I want to bury my secret in your arms. When it's just us and there's no one else left, I know you got to kill me to get ahead. Now the poets fall to their knees for the captains of this industry. Maybe I've been the one having too much fun. So come on, baby, let that bullet leave your gun. I'm tired of singing for their design. Toss another dollar across the finish line. And the girl behind the counter with the broken eyes, she's the only thing in here to make me feel alive. I go drifting through these city streets, crashing on the couch of the music scene, where I fell asleep with the devil. God damn, she was beautiful. But tonight, when I cry like a baby, because not even her love's going to save me. Yeah, I hear what those critics say. It's funny when you watch your dreams wash away. For what I drink, I should know by now. The days turn to years like another round. And everybody's singing about a broken heart. I've been listening for years from the back of the bar. So could you meet me in the graveyard after dark? I want to bury myself in your arms. When everybody's been looking at me, saying, what are you doing with your whole life? I'm just another dead poet trying to make it out alive. That's, that's that one. <laughs> Thank you. I just came off a tour with a, a songwriter from Winnipeg named Scott Nolan. We have the same last name, but we're not related at all. Um, and I mean, sitting beside him every night and hearing his songs were, it was such a, it was, it was like I was sitting beside like a Willie P. Bennett or some, some like Canadian legend, you know, he's, he's just such a uh, real, pure, authentic artist if, if, if uh, people, haven't heard his name, go check him out. Um, and yeah, I've been lucky enough to, to really meet and perform and collaborate with so many incredible artists. Um, Bill Bourne, I mean, is, is another guy that uh, really, uh, I, I, speaking about being self-taught, he's really the only person I ever got guitar lessons from when I was 15, 16 years old. I'd go to his house and uh, Oh man, he used to live just on this, on the other side of Jasper Avenue, and um, I forget what street it is, but the house is torn down now. And uh, I used to go over there, and he would just talk about these ideas and these musical, uh, you know, uh, things that were way over my head. I remember just sitting there, being such a shy, nervous kid, and just being like, "Holy smokes, this guy's incredible!" So. Um, I, yeah, I think, I think it's, uh, 
people like that. I mean, I wouldn't be finger picking without Bill Bourne. He he taught me how to he taught me how to get into that. So maybe I'll do this one um, about the first snowfall called Song and Dance Man. If I could write a song If I could keep it on Will you take it off? Would you take it all off of me, baby? Ain't the first time I've seen the snow It ain't the last time you know Are you ready for me? Like I'm ready for you Tell the truth from a lie By the color of your man's eyes Is it there to hold your dreams safe By the morning side Well, anyways Anyway, babe Anyway, if I can I'll do it Love is like some old oak tree Branches bending all around you and me Just reaching out Reaching out for something good It ain't the first, it ain't the last I don't think about all that's past I can only see as far These headlights shining in front of me Tell the truth from a lie By the color of your man's eyes By the morning sign Now, anyway Anyway Anyway, anyway Here I am, I'll do it, baby I'll be a song and dance man I don't know. <laughs>